awful. So this is Jared, two hours after he had a carne asada burrito from Raul's Mexican food. <laughs> and this burrito really depressed Jared because there was almost no meat in it, and the meat that was there had the texture of rubber. And Jared isn't alone. Hundreds of thousands of residents across San Diego eat burritos on a regular basis, but not all of those burritos are satisfying. And this leads to millions of dollars wasted every year, and it tarnishes San Diego's Mexican food reputation. So I'm here to talk about a public resource to help guide San Diego's diverse burrito eaters, from the meat lovers to the vegetarians. So at UCSD, the Neurosciences Graduate Program teamed up with a small amateur beach volleyball group <laughs> to travel around San Diego and develop a 10-dimensional rating system to formalize our feelings about our favorite burritos. <laughs> burritos have a reputation for being filling, so the first critical dimension is its size. And this tape measure you see is very special because it's been wrapped around over 100 burritos across San Diego. The remaining nine dimensions are rated on a scale from one to five. Uh, the temperature of the burrito is key. It should be hot, but not too hot. And the tortilla is also a critical part that it's sufficiently cooked, considering its flakiness and its chewiness. And of course, next comes the quality of the ingredients. So we separate meat from the rest of the ingredients because it has its own unique flavor profile. And we also pay attention to the balance between the amount of meat and the rest of the fillings. But not only the balance, how well those ingredients are distributed across the longitudinal axis of that burrito, <laughs> we all know is very important. Of course, the salsa. And a wide variety of salsa is nice because we all have our own different preferences. Salsa should interact with the flavors of the ingredients to create a taste that's greater than the sum of their parts, what we call flavor synergy. And of course, the burrito shouldn't fall apart. Its wrap should have integrity. <laughs> so this map shows some of our progress so far. Uh, we've been to around 70 taco shops and rated over 300 burritos across San Diego. Uh, the darker blue a burrito is in this map represents a higher overall satisfaction rating. Uh, but still, this data set's incomplete. Uh, ideally, we'd like to have several ratings for each burrito from each taco shop. But still, there's some cool conclusions we can find with this data set, such as we found that there is no relationship between how much we pay for a burrito and how much we're ultimately satisfied with that burrito. <laughs> and another thing we wanted to look at was how each of those individual dimensions I mentioned to you earlier contribute to the overall satisfaction. So we did something in statistics called a linear model, and all you need to know is that the higher a bar is, the more related it is to overall satisfaction. And we see that each, ingredient, each dimension is important. Uh, surprisingly, we see that the quality of the meat is only the second most important feature. And also surprisingly, the wrap integrity really doesn't impact how much we enjoy that burrito. Um, but by far, the question I get most is, where can we find the best burrito in San Diego? But I like to give a cop-out answer, which is there is no best burrito in San Diego. Each burrito has its own unique strengths to <laughs> cater to particular appetites. But we can look at how each taco shop does in each dimension. And Valentine's Mexican food downtown dominates a few of these dimensions. But the taco stand in La Jolla has the highest rated carne asada and wins the flavor synergy category. Uh, Lucha Libre has the highest rated salsa. And El Zarape in North Park can wrap its tiny burritos really, really well. <laughs> but as for overall satisfaction, uh, who comes out on top? And we see that number one is Valentine's Mexican food, and they also have the best horchata I've ever had. Number two is where you can get the best cheap California burrito at California Burritos off the 163 at Genesee. And number three is my personal favorite, the taco stand. And ideally, we'd like to collect even more information about every burrito. Uh, but I get enough shit as it is from all of my raiders that I ask them to do too much work anyway. Uh, so in summary, we're putting together a database of the best features of the best burritos across San Diego. But we still need help 
So you can go to bit.ly slash burrito rev to contribute your own ratings and come by my table to learn more. Thank you.